Damn it! I had that match won. They just got lucky against you guys. What I did against Xavier is a preview of how the tag title match will go. We'll beat them when it matters. Congratulations. You did your part in trying to get us out of a situation that you stupidly got us into to begin with. All over what, some jealousy over a video game? We care about championships and evolution. Get your priorities straight. That is what I care about. Okay, well you're gonna get a chance to prove it. I got word that it's gonna be all three of us defending the championships against the New Day in a six-man tag. I look forward to showing you what I'm capable of. The following is a six-man tag team match and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the champions at a combined weight of 676 pounds. They are the Raw Tag Team Champions Evolution. We are just moments from a battle for the Raw Tag Team title. Might happen sooner than you think, Saxton. These teams might not even wait for the opening bell before they get started. Shut up, Saxton. And introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 702 pounds. Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Woods, The New Day. Byron, I thought you didn't eat carbs. Well, I make an exception for The New Day. Get it? Ah, New Day Rocks. Come on, Corey. New Day Rocks. You're not clapping. Nor will I ever. <laughs> Big E's hips don't lie, man. You win these, you make a case as one of the best teams ever. If you're a fan of high-octane sports entertainment, it doesn't get any better than Evolution versus the New Day for the Raw Tag Team titles. The Intercontinental Champ may have held his own against Xavier Woods, but the New Day is coming into this six-man tag match with all the momentum. There are rumors of friction within Evolution. We'll see if that affects the outcome here tonight. Oh. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh. Big 
big double axe handle. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Yes, dragon suplex. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh! Set up in the corner of the ring. Able to reverse. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Back no. Back suplex. Back suplex on the apron. Hitting the edge of the ring like that can do some lasting damage to the body. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. My goodness. Oh. And then look at that. Hits him with the counter. He moved. But can he capitalize? Driven into the barricade. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. He beats the count, and this one continues. What reflexes to stop Kofi? Of course, that's a unique suplex. Wrist clutch suplex, perfect. Oh, close line. The lock expected that one. Standing drop kick. Great ups. And he sends him into the corner. Double shoulder block. Ah, look at this. Destructive arm breaker. Incoming. Big clothesline connects. And more to come. Incredible. Evades their offense. There's Gabriel with a counter. Standing drop kick. Great ups. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Wow, running leg drop bulldog. Great ups. Kick out. Tagging his partner in now. Tagged into action. <laughs> Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. Looks under. Let's go behind. Into a German suplex. <laughs> He's reeling, slowly getting up. Load over. Oh, into a DDT. Fight. Nice takedown. Ooh. Pow, what a shot. Oh. Out on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Back suplex. Spine crushing. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. Momentum on the side of the lock. This is where Woods will be tested. Block the effort and cut the Big E in his clutches. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Gonna see a new champ. Oh, you could high risk. You gotta be kidding me. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Oh, face oh. first. Touch. DDT. Oh, man. Lock sizing him up from the top. From the top. Oh, God. That, that, that's a bad landing. Taking a chance, and it didn't pay off at all. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh, and a 
stop. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Randy Orton makes the tag. The challenger is not in a great place. I don't want to talk out of school, but it might be a good idea to start thinking about closing this one out. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Dominating, shoulders down, championship on the line! Champ with immediate kick out there. How did he do that? <laughs> belly to belly! Vicious. He deflects it right back. We know what comes next. Hung up on the rope. DDT. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Xavier Woods falling victim to an onrush now. And Randy Orton is... The champions need to finish the job. Two. The champion thought that was it. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup. Rethink your plan. Orton has ended so many matches with that, but it did not do the trick just then. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Jarring European uppercut. Hold over, nice, DDT. And you can see the anguish coming through. Usually the adrenaline of competing masks how hurt you really are, but the pain must be really manifesting itself. Oh, the lock gets caught with a counter. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. Woods has got to figure things out in a hurry. Oh, oh. package drive. Cover! Two. Title match stays alive. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. He knew that was coming. And there's a takedown. Pin attempt for the championship. And the count doesn't even begin. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Oh, timely counter by Locke. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Ah, look at this. Oh, God, that hurt. Nice takedown. Oh, God. Attacking the arm. Right way to break down your opponent. Clover Leaf stretch. Biggie has lost any momentum here. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Spear! Man, earth shattering. Trapping their opponent's arm. Cross face. That's it. That's it. What a six man tag match. Here are your winners. And still, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Evolution. That's a big victory for these three here tonight. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window.
You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See, evolution in the herb business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your intercontinental championship. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Sure. Doesn't matter to me. Because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away intercontinental champion. Okay, Locke. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go. Mello is money. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. This guy has future star written all over him. The winner of the 2021 NXT Breakout Tournament, multiple-time NXT North American Champion, and unified that title with the Cruiserweight Championship. 
He's got a cocky attitude, but a bad habit of backing it up. Mello ready to do something special. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. And his opponent, accompanied by Gabriel Slade from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing in at 206 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the relentless Aiden Braddock. After an exhilarating WWE debut, The Lock is looking to build on his early momentum. The Intercontinental Champion will also be looking to lock up his reputation as a winner here tonight. The Lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive? The Lock and Carmelo Hayes are squaring off tonight in a hotly anticipated non-title match between two superstars destined for greatness. The Lock has more than just his IC title with him tonight, as Gabriel Slade will be joining him at ringside. Is Randy Orton losing trust in Lock's ability to get it done all by himself? Or maybe he sent Gabe out to keep an eye on MVP? It's hard to get inside the mind of the Viper. Right. Oh, for the arm bar and a... Punishing stretch. That attack was definitely pre-calculated, hoping to greatly diminish the power in that arm. He's lost some of his win now. Able to reverse that one. Neckbreaker. And the knee. And the lock has picked up the pace. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. <laughs> ah, down on the face. Headed to the top rope. This could be it. Cover. And shoulders up before a count of one. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. And that failed to hit the mark. Oh, not what Hayes intended. All right, it's cinched in. This could be uh -oh. it. Oh, boom. Oh, package drive. Oh, that's got to sting your back. Just pinning the arm down and then dropping the knee for more punishment. Escape just in time. Drives his opponent down with a urinagi. Maybe that will shut him up. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Took him out at the knee. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Oh, taking a right to him. No waiting. <gasps> Climbs back inside. Six. Oh, my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Trap in the arm, cross face, submission time. A tap out, really no shame in losing that way. And this one is over. Here is your winner, the relentless Aiden.
What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. All right, let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. I appreciate the support, but I'm confident I can win this on my own. Besides, you said I was the next version of you. Let me live up to that for once. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm gonna be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business will be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Fina, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined evolution, and now? You need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. One of the tallest competitors in WWE history. The personification of intimidation. The Colossus has arrived. The size of Omos must be seen to be believed. Looms over the entire ring and the locker room for that matter. Omos is just as powerful as he is towering. Right about that one, Saxton. Omos truly is one guy you don't, under any circumstance, ever want to mess with. It's the future of WWE, The Lock. Intercontinental titles don't grow on trees unless you're WWE's new golden boy. Is that jealousy I'm hearing, Corey? Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong. Introducing the challenger from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas! And his opponent from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing in at 206 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Relentless Aiden Braddock. The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment. What a night for The Lock as he stands alone without his Evolution teammates to defend his Intercontinental title against the biggest threat the Hurt Business has to throw at him, Omos. I like what you did there, Cole. No two ways about it. Omos is a gigantic weapon, unlike anything else that exists in all of WWE. Omos may be over seven feet of ferocity, but don't forget about MVP and Carmelo Hayes, who can make their presence known at any time tonight. Hard impact in the corner. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. Oh, an arm ringing shoulder breaker. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, what a chop. Not where you want to be right now. Ripped 
from the ropes with a shoulder breaker. High risk. Elbow dropped from the top. The challenger eating up some damage. He switches it back around. Devastating elbow. Everything working against Omas now. Yeah, Omas has to plot a way to get back into this. Counters with an attack on Omas. Sent into the corner. I thought this superstar was down and out. Whoa! Perhaps not. Yeah, you and me both. Look out. Boom! Full head of steam. Turning this match completely around. Now a pin for the championship. The champ easily stopping the count. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. I had that well scouted. Boom! Oh, package drive. Is it enough? Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Saw that one coming. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. The lock saw it coming. And he cuts bait, slipping out of the ring. Shut up, Saxton. This is just a small regrouping. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Oh. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Another one bites the dust to the champ. And The Rock can still hold the title above the competition. What a night for The Lock as he stands alone without his Evolution teammates to defend his Intercontinental title against the biggest threat the Hurt Business has to throw at him, Omos. I like what you did there, Cole. No two ways about it. Omos is a gigantic weapon, unlike anything else that exists in all of WWE. Omos may be over seven feet of ferocity, but don't forget about MVP and Carmelo Hayes, who can make their presence known at any time tonight. And that was an effective attack, guys. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Bullseye with the drop kick. The challenger eating up some damage. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. And Omas capitalizes there. He's turning the tables. Float over. Oh. Into a DDT. Fight. Look at this. High risk cross body. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, that didn't go as locked design. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Uh oh. Rainbow cutter. Rolling next snap. Brutal. Float over. Oh. And it a DDT. Eyes are squarely set on Omas here. Omas unprepared here. And there was some force on that move. Now that 
is why they're the champ. What a shot! The challenger being outclassed here. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Whoa! Absolutely. I feel. Saw that one coming. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Get slammed down with a championship on the line. Somehow breaks the count immediately. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. The lock put a stop to that. Whoa! Crossbody to the floor. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Oh, man. Setting up again. Double knee backbreaker. The champ has this one in hand now. All right, it's cinched in. This could be it. Oh, oh. oh, my God, a small package driver. Locke wants to end this right now. Going for it. Looking for the LaBelle lock. He may not be aware of the counties. And the tap out isn't going to do anything. This is just torturous now. Eight. And he goes into the ring. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. inflicted oh man he has fired up the champion is looking to take things to the air here but Omos has recovered and grabs a hold of him the locks trying to free himself and he does but the referee got taken out can the champion capitalize on this opening MVP making his presence known where well, it looks like the hurt business are the ones who are gonna capitalize Choke slam down to the mat. Omas with a pin attempt. The referee's coming too. One, two, three. He did it. We have a new giant intercontinental champion. Ultimately, the combined effort of the Hurt Business was too much for the lock to handle, which makes you wonder, where was Evolution? And now MVP and the Hurt Business are taking it to the former champion. Again, where is Randy Orton? Where is Gabriel Slade? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new Intercontinental Champion in Omas. But I agree, there's definitely something off with Evolution. Where's Orton and Slade? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower, that I lack killer instinct, that it's held me back my entire WWE career. Huh. I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the New Day was a wake-up call. 
And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed. Repeatedly. What's next? You're gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. Let's face it. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? All part of the plan. You might be hearing Orton and Gabriel spin about how I was the weak link, but really, they were the dead weight, which is why I got rid of them. I realized I didn't need to be a part of some retread faction to get ahead. I'm bigger than that. I can win the WWE Championship on my own, and that's what I plan on doing. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head-on, in front of the entire WWE Universe. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. He certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot 
with you. Sean was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, he better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. AKA, the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. Do you know how much time and money was invested in all of that? And you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on, name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions, to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work, because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit, throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success, because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being okay. exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Whoa! Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Did Sean Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay.
We've got a ton of moves to capture before our special guest arrives, so let's get through this as quickly as possible. We need footage of a top rope move. Come on, let's see what you got. What time does the My Ride crew get here? They're such a hassle to deal with. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. Let's see a submission hold. Don't tap him out though. Just need a shot of the actual hold. Give me a pin attempt. Can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. One. All right, taunt your opponent. Now taunt the imaginary crowd. Oh, it's a pleasure working with you, Cole. By the way, tell Buzz I said hi. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. I don't care. All right, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. Hey, Locke, I know you were a big time WWE superstar, but act like you want to be here. Let me see your best heavy combo. Pretend Cole is Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's it. Really let him have it. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a light one. Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Go nuts. Friendly reminder to all talent and crew, please only use three squares of toilet paper. We have sensitive plumbing here. Ooh, we haven't had a session like this since the one for 2K20. Yikes. You know what? Just do whatever you want. Why am I even here? Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Again, sorry Cole. See why WWE fired you. 
You can't take a simple direction. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. How about a dodge? I know it's weird with no audience, but I don't know. Pretend this is WrestleMania at the Performance Center. Come on, mix it up a bit. We've already got enough footage of that move. Great. I mean, not really. No one can look good in a mocap suit, but your moves look great. One. Hey, Cole. Remind me when you're done to talk to you about this guy Baron Blade who keeps texting me for mocap work. He says he's your friend. Seems like a real weirdo. Jason in gameplay keeps bugging me to get more reversal animations. So execute a reversal so Jason will leave me alone. Hit a signature move while you're at it. Give me a finisher, and hurry it up. It's almost lunch. All right, let's wrap this up soon. I just got word that our VIP guest has arrived. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> It wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position, action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? 
Come on, let's do this, let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have! You're fired! Again! Bye! Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No! No break! Let's just do this! Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the... Morning, sunshine! Oh, what's going on here? Since you never returned any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Hmm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at peg of five. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got oh, nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too, for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. It's coffee ran straight through me. 